Hi guys! So today I was planning to do the makeup tutorial about Moschino and Sephora collections but um, because I, I went to Taiwan for several months when I came back to Vancouver I felt I brought my stuff I mean my whole stuff, my makeup stuff but I didn't see them in Vancouver Wait so weird so i only have the the brushes and the eyeshadows but thanks god we already tried the colors on the last video so i think that'll be good i will try this two uh, lipstick uh, they have the similar color as moschino that one the pink one i hope so uh in my imagination yeah I already have the uh, foundation on. I will skip to the eyeshadow. I will use this like amazing brushes. <laughs> oh, we have a brushes. So embarrassing. So uh, maybe I will show the color around the corner, and you will see what exactly color I use. First, I will use the uh, Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I think I will tell you guys like what happened to me after. Okay, how to zoom in. <laughs> so, you use the very common color to supply the shell and here to create the shadow of my eyes and around my nose like that and then i will use the color software uh, i will put more color more on the center of the eye i i leave for now is create the shadow around the eyes and blend the color of the shadow color together but I actually apply my eyes like a little bit a little bit color so you can create the beautiful uh, beautiful what whatever Oh my god, my eyes are so sore. You know, I'm so tired um, um, just because I cannot go to Paris for two months and I want to finish, you know, my routine work for July and August, which means I have a lot of work to do. I haven't finished like all the stuff, but um, you know, I really want to like have this video to show you how I love this eyeshadow. And I have a meeting around around the 6 a.m. so I only slept for four hours apply the color at so it's the same as uh, the corner eyelid and uh, at the same time I am going to build my home studio as well because my studio has a lot of photography stuff I want to create a space room for myself I can do you know a lot of um, computer work I have a lot of computer work for now like at a video I start writing the blog right now I have to do a lot of writing and a lot of projects and it's not really not the thing I'm good at and then I just apply on here around the, the position of the eye crease you have single eyelid and you can just create the eye crease here i think i can show you after my future video the next steps we will clean the brushes and then blend 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 it out I will use the the flat brushes. Apply the same color on the bottom, of the eye. Yeah, I'm really excited of the <laughs> traveling to Paris. I can't really speak French. My first language is Mandarin. Uh, I'm not 
the person has a really good language skills even for my first language uh, i have some struggles when i learned english because when i really learn more into the english when you want to learn a language you have to know more about the cultures you have to change your logic how to think how to speak the language brain will be like will be feel like very tired the years i just found my mannering level just like yeah sometimes it just it's really bother me okay i will use the and i will use the flat brushes here and this around the end of the eye And then I want to blend the color on the corner of the eye and the bottom of the eye. I'll just use the finger and just use it like here because I want to see like you know very intense color. You just put the color here, then you can just get and apply another eyes. And remember you have to have the very intense color just in case your eye makeup will be very dirty and just blend the edge of the eyeshadow. And I only had the eyeliner very like inside eyes. You have to wet it dry. Then you can apply twice. It will make more volume and long. So restart will be like this kind of color, more like orange. So the color is really strong. You can just like tap the use a little bit face so sometimes the blush can really change the shade of the face so it's kind of like this so you only blend the color on the edge not really on the color because you like erase the color and I want to apply some red color the yellow one to blend the color here if you like really tired today i don't recommend you apply the yellow color on the face because sometimes if you feel like very tired we will say your skin is like la huang so if you apply the yellow color will make you more la huang so the highlight will make your makeup really different i actually wrote about the uh, highlight several days ago and maybe see this video is uh, around a week ago the highlight can really really change your foundation as if you have like healthy skin you have a natural glow after you apply skincare products glow natural glow skin that means health okay that's it and then i will put a little bit color here <laughs> from here to create the shadow but i didn't bring this okay that's it like keep everything clean hope you really enjoy the gifts i just pick up for you enjoy the daisy co fashion mask i hope you like it you know i have a pimples right here and i'm so tired because you know like there's circle on their eyes I actually had a mask on in the morning and night but I just use a lavender because lavender is that your skin drink more water so just use the lavender if you have a skin problem if you want to like brighten skin you can use a rose and hope you enjoy the mask oh that's more clear right here with the sun so you can see is the not really have the color eyeshadow <laughs> and here is the highlight you cannot really see the you know like the yellow color around here the natural glow is not really like very very bright color on your face 
it will be like very natural and the same does the contour of the, the nose have a nice day